Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at area of a triangle but this type of area of a triangle is the different one to the one that everyone knows which is a half times base times height because in this area of a triangle it has two sides and an angle. So in this video we'll be looking at the formula, how to substitute in values, example questions and exam questions. First the formula. The formula is a half AB sine C. A and B are the sides and sine C is the angle. How to substitute in values. Let's say this is the triangle that you're given in the question and it would say find the area of this triangle and then what you'll do, you write down your formula, which is a half AB sine C, then you substitute in the values, so you become a half times 13 times 12 times sine 120. An example question. Find the area of this triangle to three significant figures. First, you state your formula which is a half AB sine C. Next, you substitute in the values. So it'll be a half times five times eight times sine 41. Then from there, you work out the answer, which is 13.121880. Which then you have to put it to three significant figures, which will give you the answer of 13.1 meters squared as the area of this triangle. Now we're going to look at an exam question. The area of this triangle is 70 centimeters squared. Find the value of x to 1. decimal point okay first you state your formula which is a half a b sine c but this time you have to rearrange it as we already know what the area of this triangle is but we need to find out what the angle is so you would rearrange your formula to get sine c equals area over half times a b Next, you substitute in the values. So sine C equals A over a half AB, which becomes sine C equals 70 over a half times 11 times 16. But when you put this into a calculator, you have to do the inverse function, which would be sine to the minus one. So it would be sine to the minus one in brackets, 70, divided by a half times 11 times 16 so you would work out the answer and you will get 52.69820971 which you would put to one decimal point as 52.7 degrees so the size of x is 52.7 degrees I hope you found this video useful please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel and please feel free to share thank you for watching